Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to caution my survivors of narcissistic abuse and other types of toxic relationships to wait and see. It's very important to wait and see. A lot of times we get into, we get involved with other people, you know, other, whether it be in romantic relationships, friendships, business, um, and we don't wait and see. We do not wait and see. Um, the narcissist oftentimes will make empty promises, but if you don't wait and see, you're not giving yourself time to explore this person's sincerity, to explore their ability to perform, their ability to produce. We have to wait and see, you know, we get caught up in our emotions and the gush of feelings that a narcissist is typically able to generate within us initially. But as we can all see with the cycle of abuse that it typically, you know, this is going to wear off eventually because they cannot maintain that false love bomb stage. They can't maintain it. So they're unable to be consistent with things, but we have to wait and see. If, if we're not waiting and seeing, we're jumping the gun, we're prematurely emotionally attaching to someone else. That is why we have to wait and see. We're making big time important decisions without verifying first, without making sure first. It's just bad business. And even in our love life, yes, it is business-like. You have to make educated decisions. We can't just fall off of all of our logic and let our hearts run away with us. We have to be able to remain balanced. We have to be able to be remain balanced. And that is a part of being emotionally mature. Okay, because, you know, the flesh is one thing and the spirit is another. Our emotions are one thing and our logic are another. So we, we have to balance these things out in life and have a certain kind of awareness or consciousness to what is being louder in any given moment. Have that type of awareness with yourself. Oh, I know that's my flesh right now. Logically, I know that's my flesh. And it's only going to have the control that I give it. You know, instead of, on the other hand, is it's subconscious, but we're not conscious of it. And it's just running amok. And then we make poor decisions. So we have to wait and see because the narcissist will tell on themselves they do tell on themselves in many ways. It, it doesn't have to be verbally, but, you know, more than likely they tell on themselves through, through their actions. But they actually tell on themselves verbally quite frequently as well. But we have to be able to wait and see. And while we're waiting and seeing, we're remaining emotionally objective. OK, so this isn't going to be a long video. But I want you guys to, you know, just begin to approach your future relationships and your current relationships because it's never too late to change. A lot of times survivors, you know, they feel bad for flipping the script, for changing things up in their relationships. Oh, I promised this person I would do this, but now you know that's not working for you and that's not good for you. Are you going to speak up for yourself? Are you going to be a doormat and continue to go through that? You know, because that's a whole nother video, actually. But, you know, I hear it so many times with survivors. Okay, so but we're going to learn to wait and see with people. And even if it feels good, even if it feels perfect, which is even more of a red flag, <laughs> We have to slow down because there's no perfect people and there's no perfect relationship. You know, yes, someone can be well for you. And you might say, you know what, it's perfect for me, mm -hmm. but it's not a perfect person and it's not going to be a perfect relationship. Okay. So I just want to shoot this video out there to just throw that caution out there that we're going to learn to wait and see. 
even when we're feeling like we're on cloud nine, even for those of you out there that are creating those soul ties with your flesh and letting that run away with you, and you're not able to stay objective because of it. You know, everyone isn't able to do that because physiologically we are created to bond with the people that we're having sex with. We're bonding on some level and particularly women. Women do it even harder than most men are wired. Okay. But let's wait and see and it will, you know, save you a lot of heartache and you'll able, you're able to stay objective and really see this person for who they are. And you might say, hey, you know what? This person is strong in these areas, but you know what? In this area, I'd like them to be stronger. But because I remain an objective, I could at least see that and I'm not clouded by it and I'm not sashaying past it or I'm not just taking their word for it, basically, you know? Because talk is cheap most of the time, you know? Some people give their word and they really mean it. And a lot of people don't, you know, they're liars. So we have to wait and see with people, especially when you've been a, when you, you know, dealt with narcissistic abuse, it's only going to help you moving forward to learn to wait and see, no matter how good it feels initially in a knee jerk moment, you're going to wait and see. All right, this is just to protect yourself. This has to be a part of your boundaries to wait and see. And then once you see, don't dismiss that. Give it its proper weight so that you can make the appropriate decisions moving forward, guys. All right, so if this video resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys are hitting the bell for when I upload videos. Okay, I have over 300 videos on this channel. Take what you can from them. I put them into playlists to help you jump around in different categories as well. I have a free support group on Facebook. That's Lakia Reflection and Progression Crawford. That's the name of this channel, Reflection and Progression. So the link will be under the video if you want to um, be a part of that. Inbox me and let me know that you're a survivor. I also have an Instagram, guys. I have a personal one, really, and a book one. They're both public. Um, you can follow either or. I drop wisdom on both, of course. Um, I have books, guys, on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon.com that help you heal from your toxic relationships and help you do your shadow work and has a wealth of relationship advice. I do recommend reading them in order, The X Factor Volume 1, The X Factor Volume 2, The Beauty of the Eye. And for those of you who have experienced sexual abuse, I wrote Silent Tears as well. Okay, the ebook format is available and also the hard book. Um, hard copy is available as well. Um, I offer coaching guys and I do this over the phone. I do um, email coaching. I do Skype and I do FaceTime over WhatsApp guys. All the prices are on LakiaCrawford.com. If you click the coaching tab, those links are under the video as well. But it's a great investment for yourself, especially if you're trying to wrap your mind around what happened. You're trying to gain more clarity. Um, you need some advice on how to move forward, how to move past, how to do your shadow work, how to heal, how to get to the next level of your healing process, how to even begin to heal and process everything. Um, coaching is going to be a great investment for people who have suffered through narcissistic abuse. You're definitely going to have some things to work through. And um, it definitely took my healing to the next level. And chances are YouTube videos will not be sufficient to really c completely, you know, heal. Okay. All right, guys. So until next time, please take care.